Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I am showing you how to use spin off of a rail. Uh, so this video is basically just showing you how spin reacts off of a rail, uh, what happens to spin off of a rail, basically the same thing, and using spin off the rail to play a position. So I'm going to try to use the same shot for each uh, different spin. I'm going to use this cut into the side. I'm going to try to give myself the same shot each time, but obviously that's pretty hard. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm just going to start with the five basic spins of pool and what happens when they react off the rail. I'm going to have to lengthen the angle for some of them just to show you. Okay, so this is stun. This is a, I'm hitting a little bit below the center of the cue ball. Not a lot, just a tad bit below center. And see how the rail kind of brings it back just a little bit. The rail will bring any backspin back towards here. This is backspin. I'm going to have to lengthen the angle even more just so the backspin takes on the rail and not the table. So this is a lot of backspin and see how it takes further off the rail it brings it back more so this is what's going to bring it back the most without delaying the curve at all this is left spin and left spin will bring it back if you're looking at it from this way it'll bring it back to the right uh, so it's going to bring it back to the opposite direction of when you look at the rail from like the outside so left spin is going to bring it back towards me in this case, and it's not really going to delay off of the rail. So this is just like a tip of left spin. You see how it took it back? Uh, we scratched, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you what happens. So now right spin. Right spin is going to take you the opposite direction. It just depends on which way you're looking at it. So they'll obviously be inverted when you look at it from a different rail. So right spin is going to take it into this rail and pull it into this long rail. About a tip of right spin. And see how it pulls it into that long rail exactly how I showed you. Now the last thing, follow. Follow will kind of pull it forward just a little bit. Not as much as uh, that right spin was. Even though it was only a tip of right spin, it pulled it back quite a lot. But follow will most likely take uh, before it hits the rail. So it will go forward just a little bit, but it's not really taking off the rail. It's really just a follow. We may scratch in that corner or even hit this rail first. So I try not to use a ton of follow, but here's a good tip and a half of top spin. See how it kind of just curved forward before that. So you can also combine different spins. So we can combine bottom with left and obviously we get the most pullback and we may even scratch. Uh, we can combine bottom and right. So it will kind of pull back and then it will come back this way. If you look at the rail from the way that the cue ball is going, obviously it will go in the same direction. So left will bring it to the left if you're looking at it from this way and right will bring it from the right if you're looking at it from this way. But if you're hitting this rail and you're looking at it from like inwards into the pool table, it's going to go opposite than the spin that you're hitting. So it's kind of confusing. You just got to get the physics down. So left will bring it left. Right will bring it right. Follow will bring it forward. Stun will bring it a little bit back. Uh, pure backspin will bring it back uh, pretty far. Uh, bottom left will bring it back as far as possible. Bottom right will bring it back and then push it back out that way. Follow with right will bring it back towards that rail as much as possible. And follow with left will bring it back here and then kind of push it out back to the left. So now let's get into like some position. Okay guys, so let's imagine we are in this situation and we want to make this one ball next after we shoot the nine. So we could, we, there's various ways we can use this and I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways. This is just a little bit of backspin. And we pop out for a nice shot on that one. Now this is center ball with left spin. 
Just a tad bit of left spin, not a lot. Now it's going to bring us towards us and kind of hit too hard there, but you get the idea. Uh, follow if we have more of an angle. Follow with left spin. We'll bring it to the left off this rail and we can go around three rails. Oh, we're going to have to hit kind of hard. Hopefully this two ball doesn't pop out of the side pocket. There's a lot of balls in there. So top left, we'll bring it around. There we go. You get the idea. Uh, so you can just combine different spins. That was the first kind of position shot. And now I can show you the other spins. So now, let's just say that the ball we want to hit next is now over here. So now we could either use, if we have a heavy angle, you gotta watch out with speed with heavy angles because the cue ball will go faster. And watch out for that corner pocket we may scratch. A little bit of top spin. We should be able to get a good shot on the one. Just a tad bit too hard, but we still have a shot. We could also use center ball with some right spin to bring it back to the right. This is also one you need to watch your speed on. And there it is. So we got pretty good on the one. We could also, if there were a ball like right there, we could use draw or back spin and right spin and kind of draw it back this direction and go back over here. Not a lot of draw. See, it kind of delays it just a tad. Can't use too much draw, but we still have a shot on the one. So that was just a few position shots using spin on the rail. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how spin takes when you are shooting a corner pocket shot. So imagine we have a ball around there and we want to use spin. So we're going to usually hit that rail at a shot like this. So top spin is just going to take it to the top and bring it out kind of over here. Just playing top spin. See, pretty much right where I put my stick. Uh, top right spin will bring it in that direction, but more to the right. So we'll kind of bring it more over in this direction. Just depends on the angle that I just randomly give myself. So top right. Right there. Uh, what other spins can we use? We can use backspin. Backspin just depends on the angle you have. You may scratch in this corner pocket. Uh, but if you use stun, which isn't really backspin, but you're putting low on the cue ball. If we hit low on the cue ball, but not super low, the cue ball should kind of stun into that rail. So let's see. See, it's pretty much the same as follow. But backspin. Backspin is a little bit different. It should take it into this rail at kind of an angle. It should kind of hook a little bit. Uh, it just depends on the angle. It, everything depends on the angle. So here's straight backspin. See that little hook? So that was straight backspin. Now we can try some like back left. And just remember these shots, the more spin you have, the harder it is to make the shot. So you want to kind of limit yourself with spin. So back right spin, we'll take it into this rail and pull it back to the right. So here's back right spin. Takes it to the right, you don't have to hit as hard. Okay guys, now we're going to talk about using spin on a cut shot on the rail. So like that. So center ball, like this, we'll just take the ball up the table, just in a 90 degree angle line. If your table is perfectly level, which very Few tables are perfectly level. Right spin will shoot the ball to the right. Left spin will take it back to the left. Top spin will take it to the right. Back spin will take it to the left. So back spin is going to take it back. Top spin is going to take it above. Uh, left spin is going to bring it to the left. Right spin is going to bring it to the right. So you just got to remember where you are on the table and what direction your cue ball is going to travel in. So like here's top spin. See how it kind of went that way now 
And then backspin is going to bring it back to us. Right spin will just spin it off. That was left spin, but like left spin will bring it to the left. And I can't spin it like that with my other hand, but right spin will bring it to the right. Let's see if I can simulate it. Yeah, like that. Good enough. So you just got to kind of remember where you are on the table, what you're doing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That will just let you know that I've uploaded some new content. Thank you guys so much for the support over the past couple days. It's been absolutely amazing. This month, I think I'm up 6,000% across like all fields, views, everything. Thank you guys so much for doing that. And I, we just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. We were at like 700 at the beginning of July, at the end of July. And now it's almost the end of August, and we're at 3,000, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this video helps you become a better pool player.